boat food, time to eat on the boat. Yes, but I am in the kitchen. I'm not in the boat, like this boat, I'm not in it. But you need to prepare before you get out there. You can't just stop by the store on the way and get some old three day old biscuit and expect to perform at a level like this to where you can drive like this and fish to where you can make the Bassmasters Classic, which is where that was. You have to eat proper boat food. I'm gonna walk you through what I do. I do a little different on a diet than most people. Uh, I, you know, I work out, I like, I like lifting. Um, I have switched over to a mostly plant-based diet in the last couple of years. I've done videos about that. We're just talking about, not that every day, on the boat, because sometimes, you know, when I'm at a tournament, I'm gonna eat, you know, in a boat for six, seven days in a row. So I'm gonna show you kind of my, my practice and then my tournament, what I do differently. Uh, during practice days, the base of it starts with bread for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is Dave's Killer Bread, I have been a huge fan of. It is not really cheap, you know what I mean? I mean, it's kind of up there, but it, to me, it's worth it. It's really good. Uh, this is the sprouted one. They, like, all of them are good. I don't care. And I like the uh, the thin sliced ones, the smaller ones. The other ones, they're bigger pieces of bread. They don't fit in a sandwich bag very easily. And it's just a little too much for, for one meal for me. So I use those. Uh, you know, any, any type of peanut butter is good. I like crunchy and smooth. I don't discriminate against the peanut butters. I like both of them. They both need to be eaten in my belly. And then I just like whatever kind of natural jam or jelly you want to put in there. Just, you know, not a bunch of additives, just, you know, the ones that are like, this is a polymer all fruit. And I mix it up, you know, I, like some weeks I'll go strawberry, some of them, some weeks I'll go grape, some weeks I'll go seedless blackberry is what this is. So just kind of mix it up. I start with two of those a day. I do two of those in, two in the tournament and after, uh, and the practice days, both. And then during the practice days, I'll usually have a piece of fruit, either an apple or an easy peel tangerine. Do one of these two guys. Uh, sometimes I'll do both, just kind of depends. And on my apples, I'm a little bit of an apple aficionado, maybe, I would say. I, I love my Honeycrisp, probably my all-time favorite. Uh, Galas are great. Um, red Delicious apples are fantastic. Um, there's just so many good apples, Golden Delicious. I like those. I mix them all up. You know, whatever I go there and look at the grocery store, whatever looks good, that's what I, I'll grab a couple of those. Eat, I'll eat one or two pieces of fruit with my peanut butter and jelly. And like I said, I'll have two of those. So that's two meals right there. In between my meals, I usually eat about every three hours. In between, I, I love Cliff Bars. And I've just got a couple of them. They make a zillion different kinds. This is the sweetest one. It's like a candy dessert right there. Uh, this is the one, it's a blueberry. It's more of a breakfast type Cliff Bar in my opinion. And this might be my all time favorite, the white chocolate macadamia. They're all good in my opinion. They're all natural. They're all vegan, but it doesn't matter. And, and, and before anybody can say anything, the people are gonna say, oh, well I look at the back of them and it looks like too many carbs too many carbs come on it's energy if you eat too much you're gonna gain weight if you don't eat enough um, you're gonna lose weight so I need to make sure I eat enough to maintain because you're you're I'm out here putting this type of intensity into fishing a lot of people even if you're casually fishing you're burning more calories than you probably realize we had a study done on the anglers a number of years back and this goes against uh, you know your caloric expenditure is a, in relation to your size, you know, your total body weight. And the average across all the guys on the Elite Series that were sampled, we were burning 3,600 calories during the tournament day. One of these bars is 260 calories. So you're gonna have to eat, uh, what, 15 of these things in order to actually just maintain your level and you're worried about carbs? Chill, bro, chill. I mean, if you're on the keto diet, it's a whole different deal, a little different. If you're on the keto, a little different deal, then you gotta, you gotta you know, have all these pieces of meat, beef jerky, whatnots. 
Uh, so you know, I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking about people that have a different regular type uh, all-around diet, or people that do the plant-based thing. And then, you know, finally, I wanted to mention. How did this get in there? I, I don't. I don't. Eat, I do eat bananas every day. Ha! That was a trick. Uh, I do eat bananas every day, but they don't make it on the boat because some people, when they're with you and you pull out a banana, they freak out. I don't care. I don't care. One of the best days of fishing I had in my whole career, I mean, the pivotal day at the California Delta when I won, my my marshal, the guy that watched me fish, he had two of them in the boat. Not one, but he had two in the boat the entire day. And I still won the tournament. So anyway, it, it, it's all good. But then you also may want to keep some hand sanitizer. Uh, I don't know the particular brand. Uh, Captain Gary's makes a really good one. Uh, but if you're going to go eat, Sometimes it might be a good idea to just hit yourself with some hand sanitizer before you handle your food. Might be a good idea. Um, you know, if you're pulling gunk up off the bottom and pulling it off your lures, it just might be a good idea to throw a little hand sanitizer on before you grab that apple or that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But that's essentially it. Now, in practice, I'll eat one or two uh, cliff bars, depending on how long the practice day is one or two in practice in addition to the two peanut butter jellies and the fruit during the tournaments the fruit is gone it's out of here takes too long to eat takes too long to eat uh, so what I do is I replace it with um, with the bars and I'll probably have somewhere depending on the tournament day probably four or five cliff bars during the tournament day like during the actual tournament and I'll have the two the two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So that's kind of the kind of my deal. Uh, and, and what I'll do is I'll I'll peel them and take them out of the wrapper and put all four or five of them in a sandwich bag. So I don't have to peel. I don't. I just said open that one bag, shove it in my mouth when I'm running from one place to the other. Works out uh, real good. You can see I like to eat while I'm running like this. It's just it's what I do. It, it just make the best use of time. And then one other thing, if you want a, a good little sweet treat while you're on the boat. And you don't want to, you know, really jack up your calories. The little uh, little rice cakes. These are the these are chocolate ones. They are sweet. I'm not a huge chocolate fan. Actually, I don't like chocolate. But these are not very not very heavily chocolatey. They're very good. But the caramel ones are amazing as well. That those little rice cakes are being good. You know, just give you a little something crunchy during the day to throw in your mouth. And uh, you know, pretzels are also a good little add-on uh, as long as you don't go too crazy with them. But that is my simple boat food formula for having high performance on the water and being recovered and so you don't eat one of those giant meals after you come off the water that is a huge deal uh, if you eat and maintain eat a decent breakfast uh, eat and maintain during the day then eat up a sensible smaller dinner then you're you know you're going to maintain your weight you have a better recovery uh, you're not going to be run down you're not going to be as tired the next day especially if you're fishing two or three days in the road so that is my in my deal Drop down in the comments if you have any other things you want to throw in there or any other questions talking about boat food or boat nutrition. I'm not a nutritionist. I do pay attention to a lot of nutritional things, um, but I will not be your nutritionist, but I will be happy to try to answer your questions down below. So thanks for watching.